1967, I was in high school. And a friend of mine and I, <clears throat> who was also a guitar player, drove up to the strip from where we lived in West LA. And um, we went to see B.B. King at the Whiskey. Yeah. Now, I was an Albert King, B.B. King, Robert Johnson, big, big blues fan. And consequently, I became a huge Eric Clapton fan, Jeff Beck fan. Actually, there was a great guitar player named Peter Green who played with, yeah, Fleetwood Mac, the original Fleetwood Mac. And, of course, all of us revered um, a man who I saw four times here in L.A. His name was Jimi Hendrix as well. So I grew up in the greatest musical era of guitar players, in my opinion, and bands and musicians and individuals in the late 60s. So for me, it's very special to come back to L.A. where I saw almost all of the shows and concerts I've ever seen in my life, which was almost every weekend. I saw, before the album came out, I saw The Doors at the Whiskey. I went to school in the same class with Jim Densmore, John Densmore's younger brother, who was the drummer. And he invited me to go, and one or two other people, I forgot who it was. That was just the doors. But this very special story, no one will believe. But trust me, I will not lie about anything except my age and the coloring of my hair. <laughs> I won't even lie about either one of those either. Because yes, I do dye my hair, it's been 30 years. Actually, more. <clears throat> And in about three weeks, I'll be 65 years old. Oh, man. I gotta tell you, I can't wait. So, here's the story about B.B. King. Obviously, if I were playing casino tonight, I would not be going on and on, because everybody's like, I want to get back to the tables. And I don't blame them. However, tonight, they locked the doors. <laughs> Captive audience. By the way, can you turn the background vocal level up in my monitor a little bit? Thank you for all of it. Um, so I go and see B.B. King with a friend of mine um, who drives. <laughs> oh, I drove too. He just drove that night, okay? God, you could drive when you were 15 and a half. And I got my license at 16, so I could, oh my God, what were they thinking? <laughs> Yikes. So we go to the whiskey and we see B.B. King before he crosses over into a hugely commercial white audience. This is about three years before the thrill is gone, and probably about five years before he ever played Vegas, and built his profile and his enormous success He's a unique and extraordinary guitar player and, and, and singer. So I'm a, I'm a huge little white boy fan. My friend, after the show, we come out and you know the way the whiskey is, it's kind of like on that catty corner. I think it's either the Queen's Road or the King's Road, whatever it is, right next to it. It's been a while since I've been there. Um, I'm standing on the corner 15 minutes after the show waiting for him to come back. He's probably hitting on some girls or doing something, I don't know. I'm waiting for him to come back and out walks B.B. King and Lucille. No lie. No minder, no security, none. I say, excuse me, Mr. King, that was an amazing, amazing show and I'm an enormous fan and I'm a guitar player and you're my favorite blues guitar player. He said, well, thank you very much, son. I appreciate that. Um, would you mind if I accompanied you walking to the car? He said, no, no, not at all. And I said, if you'd like, I'll carry Lucille for you. <laughs> he let me carry Lucille. Scouts on. 
Now I'm 17. I'm not a professional actor or certainly not a professional musician. I'm a high school kid going to public high school, okay? So we walk up this very steep hill and I have a little chat with him. I tell him, you know, I'm a guitar player and I'm a singer. And I started writing some songs and he wished me all the best of luck and everything else. He said, well, just keep doing what you love to do. And so long as you're doing what you love to do, what could be better than that? And I said, you know, you're absolutely right. At, even at 17, I knew if I pursued something I loved, it would all work for me. And God bless you, thank you. And all of you. It has. So I put Lucille into the trunk, closed the trunk, he shook my hand, he said, good luck. I said, my name is David. He said, good luck, Steve. I'm lying about that part. He said, well, good luck, David. Enjoy yourself, and thank you for carrying Lucille for me. So I'm going to sing my favorite B.B. King song which I may record this summer. Yeah. 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 She gave me joy. 